Hello and welcome to our continuing adventures on the Cyber Defenders platform. Today we are taking a whack at the Yellow Rat Lab. This is an easy lab that is retired. Estimated times about 30 minutes underneath the category for threat intel. Scenario. During a regular IT security check at Global Tech Industries, abnormal network traffic was detected from multiple workstations. Upon initial investigation, it was discovered that certain employee search queries were being redirected to unfamiliar websites. This discovery raised concerns and prompted a more thorough investigation. Your task is to investigate this incident and gather as much information as possible. And so we are given a download and when we open it it's not anything overly fancy it is a hash.txt that gives us a SHA-256 hash not much really to work with besides just the hash okay so what do they need or what's what's our questions understanding the adversary helps defend against attacks what is the name of the malware family that causes abnormal network traffic so that we can kind of just assume is yellow something rat, given the name that they've got. Question two is part of our incident response. Knowing common file names for mal the malware uses can help scan the other workstations for potential infection. What is the common file name associated with the malware discovered on our workstations? Determining the compilation timestamp the malware can of the malware. Oh, excuse me. Can reveal insights in its development and development timeline. What is the compilation timestamp of the malware that infected our network? Understanding when the broader cybersecurity community first identified the malware, identified the malware, could help determine how long the malware might have been in the environment before detection. When was the malware first submitted to virus total? Uh, to completely eradicate the threat from industry systems we need to identify all components dropped by the malware what is the name of the dot dat file that the malware dropped in the app data folder and then finally it is crucial to identify the c2 servers with which the malware communicates to block its communication and prevent further data exfiltration what is the c2 server that the malware is communicating with so, all right, let's go back up top, and I have submitted the center, the hash through virus total, and it's reasonably recent at the time of recording. Last analysis date was 19 hours ago. I don't expect that much is going to change since it's already uh, 60 out of 72 engines detect. But we're looking for the name yellow something hot community that's usually where we're gonna find all those yellow rat oh here we go yellow cockatoo rat is gonna be my guess based on what's there Yes, okay. Uh, let's see. What is the common file name associated with the malware discovered on our workstations? What is that usually details gives the default name as this stuff goes through? Is it really just going to be the 111BC461-1 Charlie Alpha 8? <laughs> Maybe? I mean, that seems to be the common one that goes through, at least as Virus Total has it. So let's see. We could be wrong. No, we're right. <laughs> Virus Total's making this easy. Okay. Uh, let's see. Then we need to find the compilation timestamp. I believe it's going to be creation time off of all this or is no here we go underneath details if we go down to the crap where did i see it portable executable info or pe info there is a compilation timestamp 
So the question is, do they want UTC or not? It does not look like it. They want it year, 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 month, month, day, day, space, hour, hour, colon, month, month. So knock that out and submit. Wait, what? Oh no, are you going to force me to... <sighs> yep, okay, so we, 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 we can't just dump it in. It's not going to be that nice. So we can't just copy and paste, we've got to actually just do what they want with that, which is fine. It's just a weird way to do it, but I guess that makes it so that way you can't really screw it up. With a copy and paste, you give it exactly what it wants. It's either which way with that. Uh, what are we doing now? We are looking for first submission time inside of virus total, which should still be underneath here. Uh, first submission, 2020-10-15. Let me guess. Yep. So, 2020, that would be October 15th, right? Yes. And then 247. Okay, we're doing good so far. It's it's always nice when you can actually find everything you need on Virus Total. You're not one of the first four SOBs that are stuck with uh, something that's never been seen by the wider community. That would be kind of bad. But it's also an aspect that you need to be prepped for. Uh, basically taking the samples and either trying to do static analysis or just going through and doing dynamic on private sandboxes and then maybe eventually releasing info to the general public depending as to what your organization says I know some organizations have an open policy others are extremely restrictive in terms of you know maybe five years down the road you can sit there and try to dump something in there if it hasn't been distributed to the community um, others, I mean, I understand short term, you don't want to sit there and have anything trigger. So you wouldn't want to take like a, a file and dump it through virus total. Um, you do want to do a hash search instead because you don't really want to take the chance that potentially tipping off an attacker if they're set up to monitor virus total. Okay, so we're getting off the portion. Uh, now we're looking for the dat file that's dropped in the app directory. And we have bundled files, but we do not have dropped. So how about behavior? Are we going to get everything that breaks down from the various sandboxes that this sucker runs? And then we're going to take a look. Okay, we get some git requests. We have any file drops here? DNS resolutions, files open, files written, files dropped. Hmm. So it looks like it's going to do a readme.dll. So C users, user, app data, local, temp, readme.dll. Oh, they want a dat, not a dll. dll, dll. Uh, 
Or is this the particular aspect where the DLL is actually a dad? <laughs> yeah, I am not seeing a dat in here. Alright, how about the rest of this here? DLL, EXE, MUI... Bunch of DLLs still all the way through. NLS. Manifests. Hmm. Okay, I have no ideas. I don't think this is actually going to... I don't think the web cameras are, spo are responding anymore. <sighs> Looks like the graphics driver crashed. And the... Yep, ticker doesn't seem to be moving either, at least as far as I can tell. But... Crap. All right, so I'm going to just stitch these together because it looks like this is working now. Okay, so um, could not find the dat in virus total, so I figured, okay, red canaries was mentioned, and they typically, for any of these aspects, they make a report and make it available, everything else like that. So let's take a look for yellow cockatoo. So I found this. Um, talks about basically this being a .NET rat and still maintains the yellow cockatoo uh, which seemed like it was prevalent um, or at least pertinent to the case that we're looking at uh, let's see and so they've got a bunch of stuff that's in there for persistence actually is there a Okay, we get C2. Hey, here we go. We got a dat that's listed. Solar marker dot dat. Okay, we, we must be on the right track because this is here. Uh, it's crucial to identify the C2 servers. It looks like this is a domain that starts with a G. How about this gohit.com? And then we've obviously got to put it in the appropriate format as opposed to just a straight copy and paste. And submit. Yeah, another easy one. And I'll give it a five star. That's fine. Packet Detective is the next lab. Yeah, I don't really want to start that yet. I think I need to restart the workstation um, due to the graphics driver crash. Okay, so they break through the same aspect of... Oh, they actually just bring up the actual report itself uh, to do everything. Or no, that's just to highlight it. Uh, they dump it into VT, and they're doing the same exact aspect in terms of answering the questions. And then pretty, pretty much they get to the same aspect, too, of referring back to the report, like what we had to do in regards to all that aspect. And then they also give the point out the IP address in order to facilitate through that to see if anything else is communicating out, too. Okay. So, no real fuss, no real must. Now, unfortunately, I've got to figure out a way to sit there and stitch these two suckers together. But, so, there we go. I don't know how long the other one was running. Um, gee, thanks. <laughs> Driver crash. <laughs> oh, crap. But, this has been for the Cyber Defenders platform, the Yellow Rat Lab. A easy lab that is retired and a estimated time for 30 minutes. I don't think we needed that, but hey, it's easy. So, <laughs> with all that being said, I'll see everybody in the next video.